All right, Keith's back for a check of the weather. And Keith, I have to admit today I got the scarf and the hat out. I was you kind did. of preparing for what these next few days are going to be like. You know, I've never worn a scarf in my life. And like, I, I've often thought it would work well, like I would be warmer in it. But I just can't pull it off. What yeah. about a neck warmer? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, those yeah. are good. Yeah, when yeah, you yeah. ski. Yep. I feel like a lot of ski jacket now like go up higher so I don't have to. But I remember especially in high school, I had the like turtle fur. You remember when turtle fur was the th like the thing? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, it was I wear one of those. Anyways, we're digressing. Yes, it was chilly. The next couple of days are legit kind of wintry, like mm. more average for uh, January than this time of the year, mid January even. And so our average high is 42. 32 is what we got to in Portland today, 27 in Bangor, 23 in Rangeley. Those are the high temperatures. So tonight, easy for us to get down into the single digits in a place like Berlin, Rangeley, Greenville, Millinocket, Caribou, Fort Kent, um, Presque Isle. But along the coastline, even upper teens to around 20 degrees. And that's with a little bit of cloud cover. We talk sometimes about how cloud cover can be insulative. That only goes so far. When your air mass is chilly as it is tonight, it's not going to help you too much. Probably gives us a few more degrees than we'd have if it was totally clear. So this model is probably a bit too warm tonight as it tends to do. But either way, it's cold overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. And tomorrow's a lot like today. The only difference that I see is that the cloud cover is distributed more into the mid coast and southern Maine. And there's some more sun, especially through the middle of the day from, say, Bangor North. So they'll have a sunnier end to the day while a lot of us in southern the main will stay in the clouds. Very cold again tomorrow night. And then Thursday is mostly sunny and chilly. Temperatures only in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Not till Friday that we start to moderate back into the mid 30s in a few spots. Uh, that's when it starts to feel a little bit more comfortable, even maybe some upper 30s by Friday afternoon. But uh, cer certainly the next couple of days are going to be on the cold side for this time of the year. So that's that high pressure building in, protecting us, yes, from storms, but also bring down cold air from the north. We start to get into the warm sector for the weekend, which is generally a good thing. It gives us a pretty nice day on Saturday, say 40 to 45 with a mixture of sun and clouds. It's really typical for this time of the year, but it'll feel nice after that stretch of weather we just uh, are gonna go through here. And then Sunday, we're probably going to have a pretty mild day if we can hold off the rain. And the latest computer models look like we will. Here's the warm front all the way north of Quebec City. And uh, here we are Sunday in the warm sector. So probably 50, maybe a little bit warmer in a few spots on Sunday. There will be a lot of cloud cover around, so don't get too excited. But 50 is still pretty nice. I don't like the look, though, for next Monday because it's a really wrapped up, occluded low to our west, really sharp front. And look at the wind screaming in out of the south southeast here through Monday uh, morning in the middle of the day. That looks to me like a potential wind problem for us next week. Obviously, it's a while away, but just something to think about um, because I think we could have some strong wind gusts in there. Maybe enough for power outages. Probably enough for power outages. We'll just nail that down as we get closer. Until then, it will be bright and cold for most of us. And the overnights especially are really cold. Teens even to the coastline, single digits in a lot of spots inland. I only give you that much advance notice on Monday because like I think this way I've got a um, standby generator that came with the house. Great. Yep. Uh, I realized that I haven't heard its weekly test in many weeks. So it's like one of those things like I'm going to go just see if it works uh, yeah. because that kind of front tends to give us trouble in the wind department. Yeah. Give people some time to yeah. get those generators Do going. Yeah. Thanks Keith.